Hi everybody. Today I'm looking at the Condor Frontier Elite Pack and the Condor Rover Outdoor Pack. Two very similar bags, both in use and size, but with lots of key differences that I want to explain to you. I like them both for very different reasons. Uh, I have carried them both. I tend to prefer the Rover for reasons I'll tell you about, but I have kept this and I love this. And honestly, Condor has knocked it out of the park with both of these. So getting into it, the materials, the Condor Frontier is going to be 500D Cordura. Condor Rover will be their proprietary blend, the LCS material. They have a very, very similar weight and feel. And honestly, that's one of the things I like most about these two packs. The material is incredible. Like, I don't know if I can capture it here exactly, but it's almost, it, it looks worn in without being worn in. There are like subtle changes and gradations of color. It just, it looks like a worn bag. And I think they did that on purpose. Uh, they make this in black, coyote tan, and green, I believe. This one has a multi-cam option, black, and coyote tan also, yes. So, um, let's start with the front pocket of both of these. Very similar. The patch filled, close to the same. Huge patch filled on both, slightly bigger on the Frontier. Fleece lined pocket for your sunglasses, your valuables, all that. I rarely put my sunglasses in fleece line. I tend to grab the, put the things in there that I grab the most, um, like my phone or my keys or something like that. Just a real quick, easy access pocket. Uh, they both have compression straps. This has one set, kind of like the 511. It is, starts at the back, you kind of pull down. I like that. It makes for a more blend in urban thing rather than having compression straps just all over. But also I love tactical bags and I carry them whether they fit in or not. And I always, always look like a weirdo, but I don't care. Um, so that doesn't bother me. And I've also talked about how much I love compression straps to adjust the load. If I'm carrying a lot, you know, staying the night somewhere, going on a weekend trip somewhere. I like to be able to expand my bag. And if I'm just running to the store, going shopping or something, I like to be able to compress my bag. And that is one of the things I would like to review about the bags on my channel is bags that can do everything go anywhere. No matter how weird you look. Both of them have compression straps on the bottom. Um, I believe I put these on here. So actually they don't both have compression straps, but they do have attachments for compression straps, uh, attachments for straps to, if you want to go camping with this, if you want to hike with this, you can put anything you want on the bottom. Compression straps are like $8.99 on eBay. I think that's where, uh, eBay, Amazon. I think that's where I got these. These compression straps came with the bag. Uh, I love that. That's amazing. Um, also this bag is the more expensive of the two and it's very hard to catch on camera here, but also the material on the frontier, it's just, it, it, I believe this is a wolf gray color. I think in go Ruck, the closest color to this is steel. It almost has a purpley tint in the right light. Um, it's just a very, very dark gray and it almost, sh it's not shiny, but it just has a gloss in the right light that I love. So it's very, very good. Uh, if you just want to cart this around town, um, coyote is my favorite tactical color. So most of my bags tend to run 
in that, but this was the only one they had at the store I was at, and I have no self-control, so I bought it, and I love it. Um, another Urban EDC advantage that the Rover Pack has is it has some water bottle pockets, little side slip pockets here. Uh, I will say, I don't know how you're going to get a water bottle in there. It's a little tight, but... Uh, I think if you try it hard enough and your bottle was the right size, you can usually get it in there. But yeah, typically I use uh, pockets like this for my phone, my keys, stashing something when I'm on the go. Then I'm just gonna need, if I need to grab it while I'm driving, sunglasses, something like that, I will put right there. Not great for a water bottle, but water bottle pockets. So um, let's see, laser cut Molly on the front of the Rover, regular Molly on the front here. We'll lash, we'll shock cord to lash things in front if you would like. Uh, very cool, I like the multi-attachment points. Also my jam when it comes to bags. Next, let's do our front admin pocket on both of these. So, huge, huge, huge admin pocket here. Um, zipper pocket, big, nice, soft. This feels like this feels like a gym bag. This feels like uh, one of those mesh gym bags that they give you. They're super nice, super silky. Uh, I love the contrasting. Don't love the silica gel that I left in there accidentally. I love the contrasting color with the gray, with the brown. A little key tag for you. We've got one short pocket, small slip pockets, pen, 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 small, small, and then a larger pocket that goes all the way down to the bottom there. Very nice, the whole panel on the frontier. And get this where you can see it almost the same it doesn't go it the the front of the bag does not rise as high on this it's actually a shorter bag that kind of tapers in the front which I like it makes for a smaller footprint of the bag when you're wearing it and as a small person I enjoy that but uh, I really like the admin section of this it's got two little pin slots here uh, a little odd, I feel like things could fall out, but you know, if you have stuff you wanna slip in there, another mesh pocket, just as smooth, just as silky as the Rover. And down at the bottom, there is a very small pocket. Runs right here, I don't know if you can see it. I have a, I have trash in there. Uh, so you should know I have used this extensively. Uh, a bit, I love this little zipper. I like weird zipper pockets. It is a thing I enjoy in bags. I just like having options as you are trying to find ways to organize your bags. So uh, big pen pocket, big, big, big pen pocket. Slash pocket here, right there, right next to it, another one, and then one medium size one I think about the size of my hand and then one that goes about the length of the admin pocket so really nice you can put a ton of stuff in here and you can put a ton of stuff in a ton of pockets and know where everybody where everything is you got your pen you've got your little stash pockets right here I don't know if you put pens in them mesh another weird mesh pocket but so cool Slip pocket, pen pocket, slip pocket, half again, slip pocket, huge pocket. So that is what I love so much about the Frontier is it's just got a ton of places to put things. So going over to the main compartment of the Rover, got loop panel inside you can stick 
whatever it is you want to stick. Uh, I don't do concealed carry or anything like that, so my reviews will not talk a lot about that, but clearly you can stick whatever you need. You can stick holsters, you can do whatever we want. You can customize this however you would like. Um, mesh pocket made with that same wonderful mesh and a laptop pocket. This fits a 15 inch laptop. So main compartment of the frontier. We have a pocket right here. We don't have the loop inside. Have a little tablet pocket right here with a Velcro closure, secure. Same thing here, 15 inch. And I believe this is a 22 liter bag and a 20 liter bag. That is a lie, I messed them up. That is a 22 liter bag and a 20 liter bag, so. And I switched out the zipper pulls on the Frontier. I forget if I didn't like them or if I just wanted to be able to see them better. I think that was probably what my thinking was. I wanted to be able to, uh, since there are so many compartments, I'm gonna be able to swing it off my back, look to my side and see which pocket I was getting in, if you'll notice the uh, different colored ones over here. So we have side molly on this one with the compression straps too. Two on each side. And then on the back of these, no side molly on the Rover, which um, I guess with the pockets is not as important, but I do believe this, I feel like this is kind of meant to be more of a do everything kind of bag. So. On the back, they are very similar. A little more heavy duty over here. Got the air mesh vented back panel. Keeps you nice and cool in the summer. Um, back panels don't matter to me. Uh, I'm not a huge sweater. I don't really care. If I'm wearing a backpack, I'm outside, I'm using it, I'm going to sweat, so I don't think about it. But some people are into that. Some people sweat a whole lot more than I do. Um, kind of the same right here. You can still see the little ridges. They feel amazing. It's so high quality. Um, they both came with waist straps. I don't use waist straps in bags this size. Never really needed to. Maybe I would if I was taking it on a like 20 mile trek or something like that. Mine tend to be a little shorter. Uh, both of them have hydration compartments right here. Little loop hooks. Um, Semi-rigid back panels. Rigid, Semi-rigid to rigid. Almost a little too rigid for me. I talked about in another video, I tend to like floppier bags because my back is very short. And if they're rigid, they tend to just sit on my back like a turtle shell. Um, and some people love rigid, so I like to tell you about that. Um, here is the water bladder exit on both of these. Very cool, very nondescript. Let's see, a big difference. My own, the only thing I don't like about the Frontier are these shoulder straps. They're perfectly comfortable, however, they tend to feel a little sharp on my shoulders when I have it loaded a lot. Uh, I was doing 75 hard. I was having to drop everything and work out a lot. So any backpack I was wearing would all of a sudden gain about 20 pounds. Um, when I took it, I would count a ruck down the road as a workout and I would do it. This did not feel amazing. It's pretty comfortable. It's pretty light. I like that. You can move quickly with it. Um, for larger people, these articulated shoulder straps would be pretty cool. I've got a, I've got big shoulders because I work out a lot. However, I have a very small frame, so I don't have to think about that a whole lot. Um, the shoulder straps 
of the, this, of the Rover, so much better. I actually found this the day that I was looking at this, wanting to put it on, but just being like, man, it would be the perfect pack. Uh, hi, perfect pack, people. Um, it, it would be the perfect pack if it had larger, cushier shoulder straps, and here we are. These are amazing. They're the only thing I don't like. They're a little loud. We all know good bags, bad bags, all bags, depending on how they're manufactured, how they're made, how they're designed, can have this. Um, I think it's a trade-off. It's super cushy, but still soft, not too, not too pliable. Um, just enough, because it's a larger bag. Uh, longer, larger. Uh, so you got your little things here. They both come with sternum straps, little D rings to loop your bladder through or clip your keys to or whatever it is you want to do. And let me talk about the zippers real fast. I believe they are YKK on the frontier. Um, I don't believe they are YKK on the Rover, but I could be wrong. I couldn't find anything about it. Um, but that makes sense if it is true because the Frontier tends to be a little more expensive. And here I actually forgot to say that the s zippers on both these bags are buttery, buttery smooth. And it's one of my favorite things about the bags, hands down. Branding, you've got your Condor right here. Uh, I don't see any on the Rover pack. I've got my patches on here. Um, top handle, uh, made with, I don't know if this is the exact same material as the bottom. I don't think it is, but it's still a very, feels a lot like Hypalon. If it's not Hypalon, I actually should have looked that up, but, uh, feels a lot like Hypalon. Very nice. Got some D-rings on each side. On here, you have a folded over. Um, a lot like the 511 uh, style of grab handles. A little, no D-rings, but um, some Molly attachment points here on the side. Uh, these are both very nice bags. I tend to prefer the Rover. First, a personal preference. It's Coyote. I got to buy the Coyote color. I wish I'd been able to buy the Coyote in this. Um, but also because the straps to me are a tad more comfortable, but they are comfortable on this. It's definitely not a deal breaker. And also when I am carrying a very heavy bag, not very heavy, but if I'm carrying a bag out in the, I say in the field, I don't do anything in the field. If I'm carrying a bag doing whatever it is I do in the day, um, just typically working out a lot, carrying supplies, gym clothes, all that. Um, I like to have something to grab onto a little bit easier to grab that instead of just smashing this and grabbing it. I think it's just a personal preference, personal feel thing. Uh, another Condor logo right there. I just noticed. So, uh, it depends on how you feel about that. It doesn't bother me one bit, but I love both these bags. I think I love Condor Frontier for its um, added admin capabilities. Uh, it's got a few more pockets, a few more. Oh, I forgot actually for both these, the coolest thing is you've got, speaking of separated pockets, you've got a pocket right here that opens you up to the main compartment. I actually can't believe I forgot this. Um, and you can just reach in, can't really see here. You can just reach in, grab your laptop, grab your tablet, grab whatever you need out of here without having to clamshell the bag. So you have the benefits of a clamshell when you're packing or unloading, benefits of a top loader when you are just wanting to grab something out real fast. And I believe the Rover has the exact same thing. Yes, so. Uh, very cool. It makes me love both these bags. I use them both a lot. Like I said, I tend to stick with the Rover also because it's a little more walk around town friendly um, rather than this. Uh, but like I said, that only 
concerns me to a point and then I just D G A F. So, ah, uh, but anyway, uh, let me know any questions you have down at the bottom. I can answer them. Hit the like button, subscribe if you want to see more videos of uh, comparisons of different bags that I have, reviews of bags that you can use for multi-purpose, for EDC, for camping, for hiking, for sports. Uh, that tends to be way in my wheelhouse, tends to be my preference in bags. So thanks a lot.